What's up everyone? Welcome to another episode of Impeccable Crafts. Today we're going to be doing a little resin work. So, I cut this guy out here using my laser cutter. Uh, it's about three layers, actually two layers, thick. See there? I painted it a nice white, a nice silver for the little dragon guy, and I have an idea here. I have an idea of either a red or a blue resin inlay on that. My girlfriend gave me this leftover resin that she has. Looks a little bit yellow, but I don't think it'll make a difference since I'm going to be adding some mica powder. Uh, mica, mica, uh, tomato, tomato, whatever. So I'm going to be truthfully honest here. This is maybe the third resin piece that I've done. My girlfriend is the resin master. She loves doing it. She just hasn't had a lot of time lately. I make her a lot of molds. I make her a lot of these wood cutouts to do resin with. But I figured, why not? Let's try it. And might as well make a video of it while I'm at it. So I don't think I have a nice red here I could use. I'm liking those blues. I think that blue's going to be the one. And I think I'm going to add a little bit of that pearl, just just sprinkled, sprinkled here and there. So, yep, those, those definitely look like the two I'm going to use. So my vision here, my plan is to fill in everything that's white there with a nice blue. And I'm thinking I'm just going to drizzle in some of that pearl. Now, again, I am throwing out this disclaimer. I am 100% percent complete novice when it comes to this my girlfriend is the resin queen i am the mold king if that makes sense so i might use these little droplets here just to fill in the small parts i don't know if i'm going to need it maybe i will maybe i won't we'll definitely see what happens i'm a little nervous not gonna lie so we will definitely see what happens so I do have this fancy, smancy, blue, silicone matte thingy guy. I figure I'm going to use this because I don't want to get resin on my cutting mat. Go ahead and scoot that over for y'all. Slap this guy right in the middle. So let's see here. Let's, let's plan my attack. I think I'm just going to use one of these cups, weigh out a couple ounces of resin, and then I'll split it up because I'm not going to use a lot of the pearl. Mainly it's going to be the blue. Now my girlfriend did say that I can just eyeball this, but I do have a scale laying around that I use to weigh out my silicone. Might as well be as precise as can be. Let's see here. I don't laugh at how dirty this thing is. Ta-da! It's old, it's crusty, but it's old reliable. Okay, here, I'm not going to bore you. I'm going to go ahead and speed this part up. So what I figured I was doing, I would just wait out an ounce of each. And I just realized I have absolutely nothing to stir this with. Hold, please. So I'm back and I found some coffee stir sticks. Those would definitely work. Let's time lapse this. Very boring. Stir, stir, stir. Mix, mix, mix. Stir some more. Mix some more. So I do know from mixing silicone, these chemicals have to be mixed really, really well. So you definitely want to take your time doing that. One thing I did notice is I have a bazillion of bubbles in there. I know it won't look too bad once I add some of the coloring in there, but she told me to use this little heat gun thingy guy. So we'll see if I need it. We'll see if I'm going to use it. All right, that's enough stirring. 
let's go ahead and split this up. So I know I'm not going to use a whole lot of the pearl. So I'll do about a quarter of this. Definitely not half. That's going to be way too much. Just give it a nice little amount in the other one. Okay, so we're getting there. Let's go ahead and add some of the coloring to the resin. So she said we only need a little bit of this. I've used some of this stuff in some of my silicone molds, and I know a little does go a long way. So let's just put a little bit, and I feel like that's way too much. I feel like that's incredibly too much, but it looks so pretty, definitely. So definitely with this Mika Mica powder, less is more. Stir, 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 stir some more, mix it up, get all the little crusties on the side. Yeah, I definitely used a little bit too much in this, but it's giving it a real cool effect. Really, really cool. Now let's add some of the pearl to the other one. Let's see if I could not add a whole 20 pounds worth in here. I think I could do it. Yeah, definitely put too much again, but that's all right. It's okay. Speed this process up. Now this looks really cool. So I think I'm just going to drizzle that into there. A majority of it is going to be blue. It's all going to be blue. So got a little, little bit on there, but that's all right. That's why I put the blue mat down. All right, here we go. Wish me luck. Bombs away in the middle, better view. Here we go, steady hand. Let's see if I could do this without messing it up completely. Ah, this ain't bad. Oh, this is gonna look so cool when it's done. All right, let's, let's go ahead and speed this process up because I'm gonna take my time. Okay, so I spilt some on there, but I could just wipe it off. It's okay. We're just having fun. It's not like it's a huge project worth a million dollars or anything like that. Well, if you think this is worth a million dollars, just let me know. Definitely message me. But I have an idea where I might want to pour the pearl on the bottom portion here. I'm not sure. Let's see. I, I'm going to go ahead and go for that. Let me try and fill in some of these little spots with Mr. Dripper Dropper. See how this works out. A little bit. Uh, yep, yeah, no. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and go all blue on this. I'm going to stick with my original plan. Definitely going to stick with the original plan. This is already looking really cool. Fill it in, fill it in. I did get a couple of the blue drops here and there, but nothing a little bit of paper can wipe up. Again, we're having fun. It's all right. All in all, I'm already happy with the way this looks, but I think we can make it look a little bit better by adding a little bit bedazzle here and there with this pearl. A little bit of swirls in there. A little galaxy look. Yeah, definitely digging the pearl swirls. Pearl swirls, say that 20 times fast. Digging it, digging it, digging it. 
I think I get a little crazy here and just start pouring it in. No. No, I don't. I, I don't want to. I'm, I'm glad I didn't do that. I'm going to use the little dripper dropper guy and try to fill in these eyeballs. Oh, yeah. Definitely work good. I almost forgot about those. I think it would have... Would not have been noticeable. Would have still turned out good, but just a little something up in these eyeballs would have been good. It did overflow, so again, trusty paper. So, after a little bit of cleanup, I do believe that is it. Now, I'm going to let this cure, and I am going to put a top coat on it. A uh, doming, as my girlfriend said. I want to dome it. But I definitely need to let this cure for at least 24 hours. But I have some leftover resin. So, I'm just going to fill these in here for the heck of it. Why not? This is a little Mickey head swirl. Give him some blue swirls. That's where I pour it in. There we go. I still got more. I got molds laying around over here all over the place. Let me see. Aha. Definitely a good choice. The crystal ball. Let's fill this guy in. Give him some more blue swirls. So I do the same thing when I make the molds. I always have something laying around that I can pour whatever extra into. I do not like to waste silicone or resin. All that stuff is very expensive. So let's go to tomorrow. And here we are, tomorrow. Came out really good. I'm digging it. Not a lot of bubbles. Got a few little bubbles here and there. I feel like I should have really used that heat gun she gave me, but I didn't see these guys when they were first, when I first poured it, but it makes sense because the bubbles were at the bottom and they came up as time went on, but it's okay. We're having fun. Let's take out these little guys first. Looking cool. Very cool. Let's see Mr. Mickey head. You can see I, I touched the sky earlier. Yeah, I'm, I got impatient. Don't be impatient like me. Ah, very cool. It's better than throwing it away. At least we got some little resin pieces. So now for the fun part. Let's finish this guy off with a nice top coat of clear resin. So there is, you know, it's definitely uneven. There's little ridges everywhere from the tail everywhere the resin sits below it so when I dome it I'm definitely going to use this guy I don't want to get a lot of bubbles hopefully I don't get a bunch we'll see what happens and for some reason I'm more nervous doing this than I was initially pouring the colored resin all right wish me luck here we go Time to bust out old trusty. So I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with one ounce for the entire top. I hope that's enough. Will it be enough? We'll definitely find out. And again, this is that resin that my girlfriend gave me, the off color stuff. It's her old batch she has, but it still works, so it's okay. Uh, she also got on me about not wearing gloves. She told me if I'm going to do this, she took the resin away actually. She said, if you're going to do this, you need to wear some gloves. And I 100% agree with her. Make sure you definitely take the proper precautions when you're messing with resin. Um, I guess I'm lucky, you know, I've got some on my hands before and it hasn't really had 
any reaction. But make sure you wear your gloves, people. And I am in a garage. You know, it's nice and ventilated in here. I opened it up. So that's definitely something good to think about, too. So I am going to go with just one ounce here. I hope it's enough to fill up the entire top. All right. Here we go here. The moment of truth. Please, 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 please don't mess it up. Let's go ahead and start pouring. Wish me luck again. Pour, 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 pour. Pour, pour, pour. And she told me to kind of spread this out with the stick after, just to make it nice and even. So that's what I'm doing. Okay. Um, so I don't think I'm going to have enough. I definitely don't think I'm going to have enough to do this. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to mix up some more. That's okay. Now we know. Might as well do more initially. I definitely thought one ounce was going to be enough, but for some reason, I thought completely wrong. It's the story of my life, actually. Mix, mix, mix. Mix, mix, mix some more. So I mixed up about another ounce and a half. Just to make sure I definitely got enough to get all this covered. So let's go ahead and spread this all around. So that was definitely enough. And there are bubbles. So let's use Mr. Heat Gun guy on there. Let's plug it in. Heat it up. There we go. Letting it roll. Oh, yeah. Look at the bubbles pop. Oh, this guy's working real good. Looking good. Let's go ahead and smooth some of that. Okay. And it was at this moment when I realized I put incredibly too much resin on the top. So, being inexperienced, I decided just to wipe some off. Let's, let's go ahead and clean up the problem. That's what I thought. When that didn't work, let's go ahead and suction out the problem. Suck it out. And when that didn't work, I started sweating here a little bit. Even though it's freezing in my garage, I was sweating. Because the one thing I didn't want to do, mess it up, was happening. But then I realized it's just for fun. Live and learn. Now I know. So it was just dripping off the side here. And then... I just thought about it. I was like, let's let's drip it off the sides, off every side. Let's let, let's make it a happy accident. Yeah, see? Clean it up. Nothing a little napkin wipage won't fix. So doing all that made way more bubbles. So I used the heat gun again. And then I tried evenly spreading this off again. Then I realized that my wood piece was a little a little lopsided, which made sense. That's why it was all dripping to one side. So let's see if this works. Try to give it a little nudge on one side. Barely. Yes, yes. Okay, at least everything isn't leaking off that side now. Here's where I just decided to cover everything to the edge. All the way around. If it leaks, it leaks. Whatever. We're having fun. Live and learn. Story of my life. Live and learn. Went ahead and gave some more of that heat gun. Those bubbles, nice amount of it disappeared. 
I'm 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 happy with the way it looks actually. I'm happy. I could dig it. For like my third actual resin piece, it's not bad. So again, I have lots and lots and lots of leftover resin. Let's go ahead and hit this guy again. Those darn bubbles. Persistent. Very persistent bubbles. So here's an extra mold I had laying around. Uh, this is one of my Mickey Mandela's that I made for my girlfriend. And I got some of this stuff laying around. Nickel silver powder. It makes resin pieces look like metal and it adds a lot of weight. So let's let's move Mr. Dragon over. Don't want to mess him up more than I already did, huh? Okay, so I think I'm going to brush in some of this nickel powder first into the mold. Now, this stuff is really expensive. I don't remember exactly how much this little bottle was, but I think it was somewhere in the ballpark of about 40 to 50 bucks. So I'm going to pour some of that in the mold, pour some in the silicone, see what happens, see how it looks. I haven't really dealt, I, I bought some of it for a project I was going to do a while ago that I just never finished. Again, story of my life. So, I think we're done here. Let's come back tomorrow. Hopefully everything comes out decent. I'm more worried about Mr. Dragon Guy. That little, there's, there's, there's little bubbles there still coming up. Persistent. Very persistent. Just hit him with that heat gun. Get out of here. Stupid bubbles. So I realize now I should have put another ring around it just to make it a little bit deeper so the stuff won't fall off the sides. That's all right. So here we are the next day. It looks amazing. And it didn't actually fall off the sides at all. Uh, it, it, it stuck there. It's, it's a little dome. I have a few little bubbles that you can hardly see. I was amazed. It came out more better than I could have expected, actually. Really good. Really good. Only problem there. See some of the blue seep through. But that's all right. That's because the layer wasn't glued tight enough. So I definitely want to add another layer around this next time. Ah, let's see uh, Mr. Metal Guy. The back, nice and bubbly. It's okay. Let's open him up. Let's get him out of there. Oh, yeah. Looking really good. Really, really shiny. And I think I'll make a video of me kind of scuffing this up and making it look like more metal. Maybe adding some acrylic paint. To the etch in there and that nickel powder made it really really heavy you'd be surprised how much weight that adds on yeah I'm, I might make a video of messing with this guy in the future we'll put him off to the side well I hope you enjoyed the video I hope you learn from my mistakes um, and I'll leave you with this backyard montage Thanks for watching.